Hello and welcome to Bluetooth where we talk all things blue and welcome back to Transfer Talk. For those of, of my long-term viewers, you'll know that I actually started off my channel with a Transfer Talk way back in August of 2015, so I'm really excited to bring this back. And guys, I was actually going to make a weekly series where I talk about, about transfer for the first half and then about the game for the second half. But then after all of the rumors that have come out this week about Chelsea, there is just so much to get through. I decided I'm just going to do transfer talk for the next four weeks until the window ends. And then after that, I'm going to make a weekly series talking about games and matches. Uh, but yeah, transfer talk is just going to be about transfers because there is so much to talk about. So much has happened. And But before I get into that, I just want to have a quick word on that Chelsea... Uh, Crystal Palace game. What a game. 3-0 to Chelsea. We looked incredible. Mikel deserves the Ballon d'Or and all of that. It seems great. I'm happy, which is why I'm in, I'm in a good mood today. I hope you guys are too. But anyway, let's get into these transfers as quickly as possible because time is of the essence. First news, Pep Guardiola. You know, since Mourinho is sacking, you know, we have employed Gus Hiddink, but as you know, uh, his contract expires at the end of the season and Abramovich is looking to sign on a full-time coach afterwards such as Diego Simeone or uh, Pep Guardiola or whoever and Pep Guardiola if you follow if you follow Chelsea for a while you'll know that Abramovich is in love with this guy he's been chasing him for years but he is uh, what's that city does seem like favors to sign him but apparently Chelsea aren't gonna give up yet yeah, Chelsea are gonna offer him you know, a lot of money to restructure the team and they're trying to, because you know, you know City have a lot of money, right? They're trying to match City, but it'll be interesting to see how that develops through the rest of the season. But you know, it is confirmed that he will leave Bayern Munich. He will join the Premier League. The question is, is he going to join Chelsea, City, United or Arsenal? Uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. Next story is another coaching story and that's to do with Didier Drogba uh, and Goal.com reports. And by the way, guys, uh, all of these articles that I'm going to show you today are going to be linked in the description down below. So if you guys want to read the whole article for yourself to get a you know, better understanding of what's happening, feel free to hit that description box down below and uh, just click on the links. Anyway, uh, this has been reported for a while as well, actually. Uh, ever since, you know, in Gus Hiddink's very, very, in that Sunderland game, when Mourinho got fired and Hiddink wasn't appointed yet in that game, uh, Hiddink was seen with Drogba and uh, Abramovich in the stands watching on as we cruise to a victory against Sunderland. Um, and there's been speculation about Drogba ever since. And it seems like Drogba wants to join Chelsea as well. You know, Gus Hiddink has actually made his opinion clear as well. He said publicly that he would love uh, Drogba to join him because he brings so much experience and so much just, I don't know, just, just yeah. Uh, so it'll be great to have him back. It'll be his second return to Chelsea. It'll be absolutely insane. Um, and apparently the the reason that this has been held up is because the way contracts work in the MLS is that the the, the teams uh, like he works he plays for a Montreal. The team doesn't hold his contract. The MLS, which is the league, holds the contract, which is why it gets a bit more bureaucratic. And his contract actually goes until the end of 2017. So that's, uh, or 26, end of 2017, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, and the MLS don't want to cut that, but the only loophole in that contract is if if um, Drogba announces his retirement and retires as a professional player, then he would be freed from his contract, from the obligations of his contract, and he would be free to join Chelsea. And he would be joining Chelsea in a coaching capacity. He will not be joining as a pl player, that is for certain. Um, uh, so I think, even though he won't be playing on the pitch, we all know off the pitch he's such a big character, such a big influence, especially at a club like Chelsea. And I would love, absolutely love for him to come back to Stamford Bridge where he belongs. Next story. And this is some happy news for us Chelsea fans. Um, Radamel Falcao is apparently being looked at by Columbus Crew from the MLS. Uh, they actually want him on a loan deal, I think, because obviously, uh, he's actually on loan from AS Monaco, so he could be going to Columbus Crew in a, in a little switcheroo or something. <laughs> uh, so there's that. I, I actually really want this to happen for our sake, uh, because he's not really the player that we wanted. 
uh, but also for his sake, as a player, I feel like he deserves a chance to revive his career, des uh, deserves a chance to play games regularly, and he's, he's not going to get that at Chelsea, that's for sure. But he will get that at Columbus Crew. And also, if he goes there, that'll get his £140,000 a week wages off of, our, off of our bank account. So, that's good for us. I hope he does move, actually, um, in this window. Fingers crossed. <laughs> The other strike in our team is Lloyd Kremi, and there have been a lot of rumors about Lloyd Kremi over the last week. There have been rumors that Chelsea have offered Lloyd Kremi back to Newcastle on a loan deal until the end of the season. Uh, apparently, Galatasaray want Lloyd Kremi until the end of the season on loan. Uh, and there's so many stories, but there's also a story that came out a few days ago as well, saying that Chelsea has blocked Lloyd Kremi's move, even though just a few days before that, uh, reports said that Chelsea offered Lloyd Remy, so it's going crazy with Lloyd Remy right now. But it seems like Chelsea want him to stay at least until the end of the season, because you know we. It's clear we do need new strikers, but we're not gonna bring in you know we're not gonna be able to buy you know with Falcao leaving as well. We're not gonna be able to buy you know like two new strikers or two or three new strikers in this window, and I think Chelsea are aware of that. So from a tactical perspective, I think that is why they want to keep Lloyd Remy at least until summer when we can uh, get rid of him and uh, bring in someone else. So, lots of stuff about, about Lloyd Kremi. And now let's get into some of the big, big names that we are wanting to sign. And as I said in the, in the beginning of the video, it has been a crazy week for Chelsea. It's been absolutely insane with everything that's happened. And you will see what I mean uh, near the end of the video. That's really where the punch, the, the thing is. Uh, and I'm sure you guys have heard this as well. But anyway, back to this. Chelsea have apparently submitted a 45 million pound bid uh, for, for this guy, for John Stones. And if you guys have been following Chelsea or watching my channel uh, in the last transfer window in summer of 2015, you will know my thoughts about uh, John Stones. You will know how I think he is so overrated. I know I, I've seen his stats, I've watched his highlights. But he is overrated as a player. He's another overhyped English player. He's not as good as 40 million, 45 million pounds, in fact. It is absolutely absurd what is happening with the world. Guys, I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't want this to happen. Let me say this right now. I don't want this to happen. I don't want this deal to go through. I think it's absolutely blasphemous. 45 million pounds for John Stones, who hasn't been tested in Europe, who, who's you know just just who's only had you know one and a half seasons in the Premier League. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And also, I talked about this in my uh, in my transfer uh, transfer window opens video as well last week, where I said I don't think Chelsea need to buy a, a central defender until the summer. Uh, because I have faith in Cahill, Terry, and Zuma uh, at least until the end of the season. Of course, Terry is getting old, and next summer we're gonna have to really consider his role at the club. But I, I know that he's got it, and right now I think he's the best defender Chelsea has right now. He's better than Zuma, he's better than Cahill, he's incredible right now. And I actually had an interesting discussion with someone in the comment section on that video, and they were saying how Chelsea should sign a center back. Because he doesn't trust Terry, and he do he thinks Terry is too slow, and he's just he's not as good as he was before. But you know, honestly, I would just disagree, which is what I said in the comments section. I do think he is incredible in a playing capacity as well as a leadership capacity in both ways. He is incredible. But of course, people have different opinions. So maybe while I would not be happy if Chelsea signed John Stones right now, maybe some of you guys would be happy. And in fact. I'd love for you to talk about this in the comment section down below, whether you want John Stones or not. But don't hit that send button just yet. I want to ask for your opinion on a few more things later on in the video. Um, another interesting deal or interesting player that we're targeting is Alex Teixeira from Shakhtar Donetsk, which is where Willian actually came from. And I talked about this in my, in my uh, transfer wish list video uh, last week as well, where I said I actually want this guy to come if Oscar leaves. Because if he does come and Oscar doesn't leave, we're gonna have players, we're gonna have Pedro, Hazard, excuse me, uh, Oscar, uh, William, Teixeira, uh, Kennedy, all fighting for those three spots up front. Uh, and of course, Ramirez and Fabregas sometimes plays up there as well. So I feel like it's gonna get too congested 
because there were rumors about Oscar leaving for Juventus, which is not, I'm going to talk about that next, actually. Uh, but, you know, it seems like Chelsea aren't going to sell Oscar, actually, as, th as things are shaping up. I don't think Oscar is going to leave, to be honest. But I do think Chelsea are going to sign him. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens. Whether Chelsea, because he is actually a central attacking mid, that is his position. If you watch any of his highlights, you'll see that. If you watch any of his goals, you'll see that. But maybe Chelsea want to try him in a striker role and maybe put him as a second, as a backup to Diego Costa. Uh, that could be interesting. Who knows what Chelsea are going to do? Who knows what they have in mind? But this is a player that Chelsea have had their eye on for about a year now. And apparently, negotiations have been going on since December, or since November actually, when Mourinho was in charge. Texera himself said, I remember like 6 or 12 months ago, that his dream is to work with Mourinho, which is why negotiations were going well until he got sacked, and negotiations kind of stalled for a little bit. But now, apparently, things are picking up again. And as it says here, some uh, outlets are even, even reporting that we have, signed, uh, we have agreed a £32 million deal. And who knows, maybe next week I could be here talking about our new awesome Brazilian signing. Then also to bring him here, apparently since Mourinho, because he's wanted to play with Mourinho, which was a big incentive to come here. Since Mourinho got sacked, apparently um, Oscar and William have played a big role in trying to pull him into Chelsea because they're both Brazilian. Uh, William used to play for Shakhtar, so he's got connections there and things like that. So it's very interesting to see how this goes. As I said, I do think that this deal is going to go through. It'll be interesting to see what role Chelsea play him in and it's interesting to see how often he will play. It's actually worthy to note that if he does join Chelsea, because he's cup tied in the Champions League, because he's played for Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League, he wouldn't be able to play for us in the Champions League until the remainder of the season. So maybe he'll, he'll play more in the Premier League and in the FA Cup if we keep going, if he beat us. Uh, a who were we against Skun someone Skern Thorpe? Someone someone like that. Uh, who knows? So there's that. And as I said, Oscar, I didn't I forgot to zoom in, but you can click the link down below. Um, apparently Juventus are looking at him. I said in a week ago that Juventus are looking at uh, Juventus and Inter are looking at Oscar, Matic, Ramirez, Fabregas. Apparently, uh, the, the Fabregas, Ramirez, and Matic deals, they're not being reported as much. In fact, they're not being reported at all now. But Oscar, this rumor has persisted. Persisted. Apparently, Juventus is adamant of getting him. And maybe, as I said, I don't think he's going to move. But maybe he could. Maybe Chelsea is thinking, we're going to bring in Alex Teixeira and let Oscar leave. Have that one-to-one -one replacement. Who knows? I don't know. I, I, I haven't talked to, to Michael Emanalo or Graham Skoya or Abramovich. Who knows? So there's that. And this... If my computer works, no. Nope. What is happening, guys? I'm so sorry. Uh, 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 huh. What is that? Oh my god! I'm spoiling everything. Yeah, spoiler alert, by the way, guys. What is, guys? I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here. There we go. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Uh, so apparently. Eden Hazard has told Chelsea that he wants to leave, and that is the title of the video. Hazard, apparently he wants to leave. And, you know, he's had a tough season, but he's had a, he, he, he has been great for us. He's won the Premier League Player of the Year last season, the PFA Player of the Season. He's won Chelsea's Player of the Season. And all the fans, actually, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I can say that. Maybe the fans have kind of turned on him now, which is why he wants to leave. Who knows, but apparently he wants to leave. Maybe it's uh, his breakdown with Mourinho that kind of made him bro break down with the Chelsea as a club. Maybe it's you know because he's not playing well, he doesn't want to, he wants to move to La Liga, start fresh, start new. Who knows, but apparently he wants to leave. Oh, I'm sorry, I cut my mouse there, I'm sorry guys. Apparently he wants to leave, and Real Madrid are very, very, very interested in him. Zinedine Zidane, the new manager of Real Madrid, if you guys haven't been uh, keeping up, Rafael Benitez has been sacked. Uh, Zinedine Zidane is the manager of Real Madrid now, at least until the end of the season. And he has publicly stated that he would love Hazard to play for him. And apparently, Real Madrid are so keen on getting him that they are willing to spend £100 million for Hazard. And that would be a world record bid. So, you know, who knows? I don't know if I would be happy about this. I'm incredibly mixed about this. Because he is an incredible player. I personally love him. I know that a lot of Chelsea fans have turned on him 
but I, I still love him. He, he has brought so many incredible memories um, over, the, over the years. He's been an insane player. I still think that he is an incredible player, by, by no doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. And it would suck to see him leave. But, but, here's the thing that makes it more confusing. Apparently, Real Madrid, apparently Chelsea are in talks to sign uh, Gareth Bale. And Real Madrid are willing to give Gareth Bale if we give Hazard in return. <laughs> and that is a very, very, very tough situation to, to, to think about. Uh, and let's just, let's just talk about this. Gareth Bale, he's an incredible player. He scored an, an insane amount of goals over the, two, over the last two or three seasons. Um, and he is a great player, but apparently he's very, very disappointed at the fact that Benitez has been sacked because apparently he liked him. And, uh, and Benitez actually was a big fan of Gareth Bale, so he gave him plenty of playing time, which is probably why he liked him. Uh, but apparently he's very disappointed at that, and he's feeling unsettled at Real Madrid. And it's, I should note here that apparently Chelsea will be looking to sell Hazard if he wants to leave, but will be selling him next summer. And Chelsea would be, would be, um, would put in a bid for Gareth Bale next summer. So a lot of these reports are linked to next summer, well, as in like the summer of 2016, are linked to the summer transfer window. But that hasn't stopped journalists from uploading, uh, of writing tons of reports about a possible swap in January. And here we go. This is, uh, what, what is this? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Guys, I... What? Uh, I didn't put that link there. What is happening? There we go. Here's the ESPN article. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Here's the ESPN article. Apparently, uh, they could be involved in a swap deal. So who knows about that? And of course, I, I think in the link below, in the bin, there's something about Courtois here. But the reason I'm not really going to talk about that is because I don't see that happening in a million years, which is why I'm not going to talk about that. Courtois is going to stay. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, but apparently, this is the issue of, of the week, guys. The big, big story. Of course, Manchester United have been uh, chasing for Gareth Bale since last summer. And apparently, they've been preparing a £75 million bid. But Real Madrid will be holding out for at least £120 million, apparently. And Hazard they're willing to pay a hundred million pounds on so a swap could happen who knows but the bigger question that i have for myself and i have for you guys is do you want this to happen if you could have a straight swap between eden hazard and gareth bale this january would you do it i honestly don't know i honestly don't know gareth bale he's an incredible player and in fact i think either if, even if hazard stays i'd be happy if Hazard swaps with Bale, I'd still be happy. It's one of those situations where I'm gonna be happy either way, I think, which, which is great. Um, you know, I remember uh, last season, I was dreaming about a team with Chelsea, uh, about a Chelsea team with Hazard, Oscar, Willian, and Bale. Imagine that, that would be absolutely incredible, but that doesn't seem to be a reality. We can only pick between Hazard and Bale. What would you pick, Hazard or Bale? Tell me in the comment section down below about what you think about that, because it is one hell of a dilemma, I have to say. And there seems to be one more story here, which I don't remember putting. Uh, let me just see. What is that? Could swap and hazard guy? Yeah, there's, there's another story. By the way, guys, as I said, everything linked in the description down below. And that's it for this week's transfer talk, guys. I apologize for all the scrolling through stuff. I'll, I'll try my best to be more organized for next week. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the roundup for this week. And as I said, I want to know your guys' thoughts on the Hazard and Bale issue. And there was something else earlier on in the video, but I can't remember what it was about. <laughs> uh, you guys will have to remember for me, but tell me all of your thoughts on this week in the comment section down below. Tell me your thoughts on the Crystal Palace game as well. What, uh, what an incredible win. I felt, so, I felt such a euphoria about Chelsea that I haven't felt in this entire season. So, Guys, overall, I'm happy. This transfer window seems to be going very well. Chelsea seems to be intent on signing good players, signing a bunch of players, um, and really trying to revive our season. So guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay blue.